Hi everyone, it's me Shana D and today we are learning how to paint a full face tiger for your Halloween costume. This is a viewer request and uh, if you're interested in learning how to paint this face, then keep watching. Okay, to start this off we're going to use, start with a little bit of star blend powder and I'm using a powder puff and we're going to start on the muzzle. So we're going to just kind of take your finger and work and just bend your puff around it and kind of just work in the powder into the puff. And we're going to start just right about here. We're going to fill all this in. And I like to use star blends just because um, you, it doesn't feel like you have anything on, especially around the mouth area. And then we're going to go um, around the eye area where the tigers have a little bit of white. Okay, so now I'm going to use my pink wedge and I'm going to moisten it. And I'm going to use, this is my uh, girly tiger um, cake. It's yellow, um, neon orange, and neon pink. So when you load it, it should look just like that. And we're going to start with the yellow on the inside. So the yellow is going to go over the nose. And try not to get right under the eye because this is going to be white. And then you're going to kind of just color that in. So continue with the yellow here, you're going to kind of meet it here. And then just drag the rest of it into the hairline. Okay, so I'm going to be using a little bit of um, gold pigment. This is gold from MAC. And I'm going to use this on all on the yellow areas. You can use your finger or you can use your brush. And what this does is it just kind of gives it um, a pretty sheen. And it'll make it feel more comfortable as you wear it through the evening. Kind of sets it. If you have um, like the Lumieres, the Ben Nye Lumieres, those will work good too. You can feather it out into the orange. Okay, so it's pretty shimmery mask. So now we're going to go ahead and start on our lines. And we're going to start with a little white and a number three brush. We're going to take the white and we're going to go underneath the eyes because tigers have white under their eyes. So we're going to start right here. And then we'll do the other side. I know it looks funny, but trust me, it's going to get good. I'm going to take a little bit of yellow and go over the eye area. OK, 
Okay, so we're going to start with the tiger stripes here. And they kind of start right here. And then they come down. So kind of like that. They, they meet, all the lines kind of meet in the center like this. We're going to do okay, so that's the center, and I like to start with the center to make kind of a focal point. And now I'm going to do the eyes, and then I'll fill in the rest of the lines. Okay, so now that we have the eyes done, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the rest of the lines around the forehead. So we're going to start here. And come up to the center. Don't forget to bring your points down. So you get a nice um, sharp edge. Now, we're, now that we've got the forehead done with the lines, we're going to go ahead and start working on the nose. And then for the lips, I'm going to actually be using um, a, lip, a balm stain. This color is called Smitten, Smitten, and this is by Revlon. I'm going to color in the bottom lip. Okay, so we're going to do the muzzle now, and we're going to start it out here, kind of wiggle, like that. And like that, okay, and that's how we are going to start it.
and then we're going to do some dots that come in. And they get smaller as they come in. And then uh, these ones kind of come down. So just like that. Okay, now, so to do the cheeks, you're going to follow the lines that you've created here and here. So, starting right about here, you're going to come down and bring that one in. And then starting here, And then you can do the same thing on the other side. Okay, and so we're going to put in some a little bit of spots um, just to create some interest. So I'm going to do a few here. And these are not your dots. They're not completely perfect and round. Okay, and because I like to shade, um, I'm going to take my black star blend and we're just going to kind of go over the lines and kind of soften them up a little bit. You don't have to do this step, but um, I just like to kind of soften everything up and not make it too cartoony looking. I mean, it does look like a cartoon. I mean, when have you seen a pink tiger? But.
and then we're going to do a light little line around the nose. Again, I'm using this Star Blends to shade. Okay, I'm going to go curl my eyelashes and put on my mascara, and I'll be right back. Um, Filbert. It's a little bit damp. And I'm going to dip it into my glitter, my fuchsia glitter. And I'm going to do my bottom lip. Just lightly kind of tapping the color on there. Now this part definitely will come off when you eat, but... And there is your full face tiger. You can, of course, you can add teeth, but I think for a girl tiger, it just looks a little more feminine without the teeth. But that's your, your preference. It's up to you. So I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. Of course, this is not for a child. <laughs> this is a little complicated for a child's design. You can simplify it. You can use this. It, this is this is pretty much the same thing I do for kids. I just don't put in as many details. I do a little white highlight, um, which also makes it kind of look more cartoony. Um, but I don't do um, I don't do the black star blend, and I don't um, do the details underneath the eyes. Um, but I do do the nose and the mouth pretty much all the same, except for the black star blend. So if you have any questions. Um, or comments please leave them below and don't forget to subscribe up above and I will see you all soon bye